Hello there, David here. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be posting questions that you asked regarding the Cabbage Juice protocol, along with the answers that I provided you with individually. This protocol allow me to heal from ulcerative colitis 100% after 17 years of not being able to heal with anything else. So I hope you find this useful and it helps you with achieving the same remission that I've been able to achieve. And again, stay in remission for over two and a half years now. Let's jump into the video. Let's jump into the different questions in categories that I received. And the first one, it's related to the bad taste. Okay, a couple of comments here. The first one basically says, I added half in celery and half apple, maybe it would add some flavor. Okay, other person says that they added orange to the drink and maybe that will be more palatable. My question, my answer is yes, adding other fruits or vegetables would make the taste better. Uh, I personally added carrot and apple. Um, started with a medium sized apple, about three to four medium sized carrots and that was good enough. So hopefully that's a good advice if you're having trouble with the taste on the raw cabbage juice by itself. And the other question basically says uh, that, you know, they found a very hard time also following the protocol because of the flavor, but they did see some um, improvements on uh, their ulcers and symptoms. So to recap this first category, you can add more uh, vegetables or fruits. Again, you can choose your favorites. My favorites were the carrot and apple three medium sized to four carrots and one medium apple that would take care of the taste and hope that's useful for you okay it's, uh, it's undrinkable for me it gives me nausea okay similar to the previous question uh, adding other flavors like fruits or vegetables should improve or should make that easier for you to drink the um, cabbage juice and eventually be able to tolerate just by itself so that's one option you can take uh, the other one is uh, you can lower the dose you don't have to take the full liter or 32 ounces daily if you need to easy up you can go slower on the uh, process right so you don't feel that shock immediately so instead of taking the full liter you can take half a liter which is 16 ounces or you can even go as low as four ounces a day, two in the morning, two at night, whatever you can tolerate, because you wanna make sure you're successful at the end of the day. So lower doses could improve if you're feeling uh, nauseous and you're not able to take it, but also consider the uh, mixing up with other vegetables and fruits uh, as well, like the first question. And another comment similar basically says that, uh, uh, I tried juicing cabbage, but it's very burning to my throat and I ended up puking it out. It is normal for the, how to make the cabbage juice digestible in my guts. Again, answer that question already. Mix it up with other vegetables and fruits if you need to, or lowering the dose should um, take care of um, making the juice, the cabbage juice more palatable uh, and be able to go through the protocol eventually towards the end of the first week or you can take it slower if you need to take two or three weeks don't feel pressure that it has to be done all in the first week okay so that takes care of the vomiting or nauseous uh, category which was the second category that i found people were having trouble with other people were asking about alternative forms of cabbage juice okay uh, some were asking about a powder like dehydrated uh, form of cabbage juice I don't personally recommend it. I did see this option uh, posted on Amazon, like a dehydrated cabbage juice, organic, all that. Because in, in my experience, when I've tried in the past, like dehydrated wheat grass uh, with water, I find the flavor to be too concentrated. Okay. Uh, and, and that's why I don't recommend that as the first option. Okay. So another comment related to that same category. Um, can I use fresh cabbage for juice making? I'm, I'm assuming they're related to like frozen 
or cold cabbage it's perfectly fine you actually want to conserve it in the fridge to keep it from going bad okay so that was my answer yes you can use fridge cabbage or frozen or refrigerated uh, cabbage uh, the other question or similar related to this category other forms of cabbage if you can take it uh, cooked like cook the cabbage juice with spinach um, and they also mentioned tofu which is unrelated to this my answer to that is yeah you can take those vegetables but I, they would have limited benefit because the benefit really comes from the raw cabbage juice not from the vegetable uh, leaves the fiber itself so yeah you can take it as part of your diet but the benefits are not going to be really uh, substantial because the juice the substance the vitamin t that some people call it comes from the fresh juice itself not from the vegetable cooked or, or dehydrated all right the next category again hopefully i'm not going too quickly but i don't want to take a huge time because then the video is going to be very short some people were asking about supplements and medications that you know i was taking uh, during the protocol that lasted a week uh, as i mentioned in other videos and you can watch it in my channel as well i took supplements which consisted primarily uh, probiotics a brand called culturel there was also a multivitamin um, component the brand was my kind organics uh, or, or the name my kind organics garden of life is the actual brand and then the multi-mineral that i took is what's called fulvic with an f as in frank fulvic ionic minerals okay you can watch that on, on a couple of videos that i'm going to be posted here here as we go along but yeah i was taking it that's very important because you want to supplement your body with these components while you go through the protocol so you're getting your body uh, not only hydrated but as uh, not only the protein but uh, nutrition wise as full as you can because initially your body's not going to be ready to absorb all kind of foods so supplements are very important the other very common question was that if uh, cabbage juice it's going to heal is going to help with other similar conditions like Crohn's disease or proctitis uh, or H. pylori the answer is yes for the uh, obviously ulterior colitis and the Crohn's I'm not familiar too familiar with the practice ties practice ties I think it's pronounced and the H. pylori will be benefited more if you take uh, oil from oregano uh, that takes care of the pylori the cabbage juice is mostly aiming to heal you from the ulcers so here are very quickly uh, talking about gastritis yeah it's going to help with gastritis because gastritis it's inflammation so the primary purpose of the cabbage juice is to heal from ulcers but it can help to some degree with um, gastritis which is an inflammation um, I have posted also a video on my channel related to uh, anti-inflammatory juice which you can take a look CCGAL uh, which is celery uh, uh, ginger lime juice uh, I don't have all the components in front of me right now but CCGAL it's an anti-inflammatory juice that is going to benefit you from gastritis so uh, but the cabbage juice itself is going to help as well uh, I already answered about the H. pylori uh, better off if you take the or uh, oregano oil which you can find at a uh, website called uh, listen to my gut again I'm going a little quickly because I don't want to take this a lot a lot of time uh, some questions just repeat themselves and last category here that I have it's the what kind of diet I was having or following while I was doing the protocol um, the the diet was basically uh, I could eat most things even though that doesn't mean I was taking everything the main things that I was avoiding were uh, peanuts and regular milk you know that was just some some type of foods that would upset my stomach but most other things I would take I would just try to follow a uh, diet called elemental diet which was mostly liquid uh, because that'll be a lot more digestive and for uh, solid food it was mostly easy to digest food like salmon sardines eggs um, fruits uh, vegetables but be it steamed or cooked but nothing like super heavy 
uh, things like pork or meat, like uh, beef. You know, those I tried to avoid because they were not easy to digest. Uh, so that basically, you know, here's another uh, person, another viewer, uh, just asking about the same question, which is the same answer that I just provided. I am the other viewer or subscriber. Uh, it's asking if she could eat or he could eat normal food uh, while following the protocol. I already explained what is the answer. So hopefully you find all this information useful. So please subscribe to the channel. That would help me a lot. Thank you for your support and I'll see you guys in the next video.